last up what I think is either, oh really, I think it's a really big deadhead, honestly. Looks like a really nice deer, 10 pointer. Yeah, that's a nice deer, wow. Maybe it's a 10 pointer, or excuse me, eight pointer. That's a gorgeous deer. Oh yeah, the start of the drop time. We're in Iowa, it's March 2nd, with none other than Emmett. We just recorded a podcast, he told us all about shed hunting. Now we're gonna go put it to practice to see if we paid attention. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> we'll see if we can walk away today with a pile. I'm excited. It's supposed to be 70 degrees out today. Hope you guys brought your swimsuits. We're gonna be getting a yeah. tan. Yeah, this farm that we're going to right now, new farm, we just got permission on it this year. It's in a secluded area where it's the furthest I've ever been from a road. It's probably 360 acres total, 100 acres of timber. I think that there should be sheds. I don't wanna be out. too optimistic because that's the time, so I don't find it, right? <laughs> yeah. so. we're, gonna, we're gonna find out one way or another. So. That's true, that's true. And if not, we'll go on to the next one, so. All right, today is Wednesday, March 2nd. I decided to take work off today because I got my two really good friends, Cam and Jake here from Exodus. They wanted to come see Iowa. They're gonna be here for the Deer Classic and they wanna find some Iowa sheds while they're here. So what better day than today to do it? Got 70 degree, 70 degree weather. We're hitting a farm that we have no history with. So I'm excited to see what happens. What do you boys think? Oh, I can't wait. I'm excited, beautiful day to do it. Yes, sir. All right, let's hit it. All right, here we go. We're doing some shed hunting here. First boots on the ground, first thing in the morning. Feels pretty good. Definitely seeing a lot of food, but I'm not seeing an overwhelming amount of deer sign, at least in the field right now. You can see some tracks right here. Maybe that'll change here soon. We just walked through a lot of this farm that didn't really have a bunch of sign, and we finally got into something that looks pretty promising. So we're still trying to find number one. Hasn't been a ton of sign on this farm yet. I'm my first friend of the day. Possum. Possums are roosted. Hanging out. Well, with the way this farm lays out and the limited amount of hunting pressure that there appears to be, I was a little surprised that we haven't came across the deadhead yet, being that this was probably a hot spot for EHD back in the years when it was really bad, just given the number of cricks that are here. And I just came up on a deadhead right now. It's gotta be an EHD deadhead. It looks like an old one. Yeah, it definitely is an EHD deadhead. EHD deadhead. You can tell that it had velvet on it when it was dead, but right there, you can feel how his antlers are spongy. It's tough to tell. I would, yeah, there's definitely velvet on it because you can see the velvet right here hanging off. It looks like it would've been a decent buck, just unfortunate that it had to go this way. Well, we're heading back to the truck now. I don't think we're gonna find anything on the first farm. We've seen actually a, a reasonably amount, a reasonably decent amount of food on this farm. But you can see right here, there's just a few rows of corn left. Right here, we've got corn. If there was a lot of deer in the area, there wouldn't be a single kernel left. So I think that the issue with this farm more or less is just a lower deer density than normal. But hopefully on the next farm we go to, we'll be able to counterbalance the the count. All right, so we're just getting on to farm number two. First farm, we covered six miles each. Came away with zero antlers. So, you know, moving on to farm number two. Not sure if this farm has already been hit or not, but. Jake, did you just walk past this? I just found uh, shed number one here. Jake just walked right over top of it. Well, we were concerned that somebody else might have beat us to this farm because last year we got sloppy seconds here and we showed up, there was a deadhead or a sawed off deadhead. <laughs> and so we were thinking that they had probably already hit it and well, Cam just disproved that finding a fresh antler right here. Was it right like that? <laughs> I had to step on it. But it was like this, like up. But dude, I mean, Walk in the sun. Hey, I'm telling you, walk in the sun. There's when they lay like that, it can be tough, man. But let's go. All right, that's a, that is really good. That is exciting. I will bow. Where's the match? We are on the board with antler number one. We keep on working around this pond. That must mean that those guys must not have hit this farm, or I don't know. It's so close to the road. Maybe they dropped on their way out, but. Looking. Looks like a pretty decent one. It's, uh, definitely looks like a good one. 
Yes, sir. So it's got a good base on it. What he's doing right here is he's coming right off this bean field, it looks like, not bedding too far. We've been walking some really good stuff, some nice thick cover with a real nice field edge. It's, it's got native grasses that these deer like to lay in. And it doesn't surprise me very much that this deer is 20 yards off a cut bean field right here. So we were contemplating, you know, we found two dead deer so far with their heads or with their antlers cut off. And we were contemplating on whether or not this has been hit already, but I think that this answers our question. What do you think? All right, let's hope we can find his other side. That is a nice buck right there. Not a single chew mark on it. He's tight too. He is tight. He's real tight. Looks like a fighter too. Busted up that G4 and busted up his brow ton. That'd be a cool one to see next year, I think. Oh. So, looks like it's Jake's turn. Well, I just found number two. Walking up on it now. Just, just a little guy, it looks like, but another shed on the board. Again, looks like it's a really old one. Definitely an oldie. It's a little guy, a little oldie, but my dog will like that one. Let's keep moving. Look at this. That's exactly how the deer died. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's exactly <laughs> just like that. <laughs> I'm right up there. Oh boy. A little sun bleached. He'll be a monster next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let him go one more year. That's all right. I'd like to find this guy's sheds here. Pretty big rubs on a lot of these cedar trees in here, all the way up back in there. So I'm gonna scour this area pretty good. All right, Cam found another one. So Cam's on the leaderboard now for two today. Every shed counts, right? Number three for me. Just the little guy. So what you come to Iowa for? I must just have an eye for the small ones. I got another one. <clears throat> I just glassed up what I think's either, oh really, I think it's a really big deadhead, honestly. Doesn't look like from a year before, looks like from this year. Looks like a really nice deer, 10 pointer. Wow. Yeah, that's a nice deer, wow. And he's a 10 pointer, or excuse me, eight pointer. Man, that sucks. That's a gorgeous deer. Wow, oh yeah, the start of a drop tine. His drop tine right there. Wow, you kinda see he's got a start of a drop tine, little point off the base. Big Iowa eight point frame, main frame. Giant beams, saw him from up on top of this hill here in the creek bottom. Well, I'm gonna catch up with Cameron and Emmett and figure out how we get a salvage pad for this deer so we can take them home. Well, here's Jake's surprise. Beautiful eight pointer. Yes, sir. I was walking over the hill and I was like, <laughs> I just bought my binoculars. I was like, oh my gosh. And like you said, he had that, he had a drop time yeah. too. Yeah, he was like sitting this side, saw this right here. Wow. And I was like, I don't know if that's just a shed. And then I saw this other side just shining. I was yes, like, oh my sir. gosh. Yeah, it's a big dead. <laughs> That's a nice eight point for yeah. sure. A nice kicker on his left base too. Yep. What a shame though. I know. <laughs> you hate to find it that way, but. Well, at least you were able to salvage him before. Yeah, any more squirrels. With squirrels. Well, squirrels eliminated the drop time. We can just call it a 10 inch drop time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I think it was down to here. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Nice, man. Appreciate it. Far and few between here for myself. Carrying this guy out. Found a little guy. Could have been a road shift. Yeah. What's that put us at? That puts us at seven. That puts us at seven. Seven. Where's all the itty bitty ones? Hang on. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm kidding. Farm number three. We just rehydrated. We're at seven. We hit this is probably the is this the last farm we're gonna hit today? Or we got one more. You know, I would I would anticipate it being our last farm just because of how big it is and it's three o'clock now, but who we'll knows? See. We'll see. We'll see what the food is, we'll see what the sign is, and maybe we'll make it four farms today. Who knows? We're gonna go bomb in there. I think we're at like ten ish miles. So pretty good day. A little bit more here. I need to catch up. <laughs> T Team Exodus is just kicking my ass right now. <laughs>
peeled eyes. Oh. Uh, how the hell did you see that? Did you see that? I just saw the two white. I was like, that looks too white to be, to be normal. Well, that's another one for the day. Right. I don't know. I got lucky and I just, I just found this sucker and. I guess you guys aren't going to be able to see it as it laid, but we saw it from the road, and it's number 54 on the year for me. But these guys, if I had these guys with me all year, I'd probably be at like 204. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. We're at far number four. Emmett just eagle eyed a shed 150 yards off the road, uh, forky. So, yeah, this is 60 acres here. We're, uh, I think we're due to find one here. I don't know. We'll see. It looks pretty thick off this road here. Variety of oaks, cedars. Gorgeous Iowa country everywhere we drove around, but let's get to it. Yes, sir. Just came down up onto this point here and walked up on an old one. Pretty chewed up. But hey, it's another shed. So it looks like Cam found one. Oh, yeah. It was like covering leaves. Oh, yeah. I just happened to walk right up the point and it was stumbling up and it was just laying there. Man, oh man. Sounds like they're down there making a game plan, but farm number four didn't uh, didn't pan out. Beautiful farm. Bedding is amazing, but just doesn't seem like there's any food. So on to the next. up a day in Iowa with Emmett. Thank you so much for having us, man. It was a lot of fun. We covered like 13 miles. The first farm was a lot of food, but not a lot of sheds. And then this, you know, we finished the day with, what was it, 10? Nine? Ten, uh, nine. nine. Nine with the deadhead. So, I mean, overall, a really good day. Uh, really good with day. With all things considered. So, we have more tomorrow. So, this is, uh, this is good. Got some, uh, we'll have some broken in boots even more for tomorrow. <laughs> so looking forward to it. And if you haven't, uh, be sure to check out, what's your YouTube channel again for everyone? Extreme Element Outdoors. Do a lot of shed hunting content, but also deer hunting here and there. So make sure to check it out. Appreciate you guys coming. I, I know that you probably were hoping for a little bit more, no, but, but fun. you know, this is just the nature yeah. of how it goes. And absolute gorgeous day. It was so good to get outside and walk some ground. And it's so scenic out here and it's, uh, it's the promised land for whitetails. That, that it is, that it is.